Beast Tank 06 guys, I'm here for the Duranex Elite Flotilla. We're going to talk about the floor bearing method. Uh, I'm not going to explain the methods as far as getting the ranging and bearing because I've explained them in other videos, so I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to be very um, quiet during this video. Uh, I'm going to take four bearings. You could take 20, you could take 2,000, it doesn't matter. I'm taking four. The purpose of, of taking four bearings is to get several pieces of information to compare to. If you do the four bearing method right, you're going to not only know the ship's course, you're going to know the ship's speed and the angle on the bow. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's get right to it. So step one, identify the ship, range it, get the bearing, start your chronometer. Okay, don't forget to start your, your clock. Now, my mod has a chronometer that I can drag. If you don't have it, then just stay near your, your periscope. All right, I assume that you know all the formulas, so let's get right to it. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ziel wird identifiziert. Kontakt, Frachter, Entfernung gleichbleibend auf 3, 4, 5, mittlere Entfernung. Speeding up the video. OK, 
Okay, we did it. All right, so let me explain what just happened here. I didn't do a lot of uh, talking here. I was ranging and placing the bearing every three minutes and 15 seconds. That's a magical number. Remember that number. Now what this is going to do, it's going to give me some information. All right, one, I have a couple of things here. Here, I'll show you. I have a track mark, okay? I have a track mark of where the ship was and where it has been in the last four uh, bearings that I've taken, all right? Look at that. Look at that, 180 degrees, perfect, okay? Now my objective is to get as close as possible. Let's see if I can get close as possible. Okay, if it's off a little bit, I, I, I know for a fact that this ship is going 180 degrees. It's off a little bit because of the math. But I'm, what I usually do is I take the first mark and the last mark. And as long as the other ones are pretty close, I'll leave it as is. So about 180 degrees for the ship. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is this. Now this is the best part. You're going to get your compass. Okay. And you're going to go to the first mark. And this is where the 3 minutes and 15 seconds rule comes in. I'm going to drag it to the next mark. Okay. I know for a fact that that ship is going seven knots, okay? Um, and if you remember in the last videos, it was always close to seven knots when we did the manual speed. But as you can see, when you take your compass, this is measures in meters, but that three minutes and 15 seconds rule gives you the speed. 0.7 meters, or 700 meters if that is, that's your knots, look at that. And look, you can compare it to the other ones. Go from here to the next one, Look at that, look how close that is to seven. From the bearing to the bearing. Let's go to the last one. From the bearing to the bearing. That's the X right there, you can barely see it, but it's a little less, but it's, you can compare it. You can make an estimated guess that the ship's going seven knots. I know it is going seven knots, but look how close that is. Here's the bearing, there's the first bearing, again, second bearing, third bearing, just a little off. Third bearing to the last bearing. And that's pretty damn close. Okay, that's what I love about the four bearing method. And now here's the best part, even better. I got a mark here. I got a mark here. I'm going to take my come uh, my uh, protractor. I'm going to go. Hold on, let me, let me zoom out. Take your protractor and you go somewhere down the track and whichever bearing you choose, okay, that's fine. This last one was 117. If I go to 117 and I point to my ship, that's his current AO. If, if I if I keep my excuse me, if I keep my periscope at 117. And I set my AOB to 119. That is the angle on the bow of the ship. And as, I, as long as I lock my TDC and I turn my periscope, I'm going to have an accurate AOB when I point it at the ship. Okay, let's take let's take a look. So his angle on the bow at 117 degrees bearing off of my ship is 119. So let's let's give that a try. Let's let's give that a try here. That's your angle on the bow, folks. Okay, it's just past uh, 120, and that's where he's at. It gives you the angle on the bow, it gives you the speed, it gives you the course. You can set up an attack on a convoy. The only thing is, is if you're going to go after a convoy, you got to make sure you, you range the same ship. Otherwise, you could be all over the place. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to PM me or put a comment in the uh, space below, and I can go further with this. But I love the four bearing method. If you get better at it, 
uh, it will give you everything you need to know.